Hello guys and welcome to a new Wargamer Dragon video today by me Vulcan. Today I have for you part 14 of my second Korean War campaign and today I think it's time to attack Pyongyang and it should be a good one. I tell you that much. There's a lot of forces here that we're going to have to destroy in order to make this happen. But if we do, and we push those forces out of Pyongyang, well, that's going to be pretty awesome watching all of those planes explode. <laughs> so that's what I'm looking forward to today. And I think it's going to start with these French divisions. So the second REI here, they have Legion 90. And I feel like these are just the perfect troops to take on things like T-90s as well as the T-72Ms, just any tanks really, they can easily deal with them. So that's the main reason that I'm going to be going into this. Uh, we've only got one cohesion though. Um, we do have that initiative that enables us to go for the attack. So we're doing it. We're going for it. Third anti-air company going to be accompanying them. I mean, that should be pretty self-explanatory considering the amount of planes there are. But I was also going to look into reinforcements. Surely there's something else we can bring. Um, so this is the Division de Gay. Um First Reconnaissance. They have quite a lot of cohesion, actually. But they are 30 points, and, well, what you get isn't actually that amazing. You get 36 AMX-10 RC SBs and some AMX-10 RCs, a uh, couple of VLRA um, Mistrals, and the Rima 80 with the T VB T2013s, which are actually pretty nice. We also get quite a lot of logistics from this that could be very helpful because i don't believe we get any we get four with the rei we don't get any with the anti-air company so we could run out of missiles very quickly if we don't bring those in these guys i can't bring in because they don't have the initiative actually saying that they do have the initiative interesting but the tanks aren't very strong i think we're going to go for the first reconnaissance here we're going to bring those in we're going to put them into that fight as well and that should be enough I'm not going to launch the attack just yet, don't panic. Um, I just wanted to see exactly what we're up against. Because I do want to bring in some um, air force uh, to make sure that I can counter theirs where needed. Um, however, we might not need to since I will be relying quite heavily on the AA here. So the Crotals and the VAB, VD, AAs and of course these Mistrals. Hmm. So we've got plenty of Legion 90 and that actually works out very well because this is a very town focused map. Um, maybe not so much on this top side though. So if they reinforce from the Tute Chong, um, then that could get ugly. But either way, that's cool. Let's have a look at their troops. But Chong Su... Uh, Ban tank faggots. We got the T-72Ms, T-90S, Chomaho 2s and Chomaho 5s. Okay, they do have the 5s there, which are 90-point tanks. They're pretty disgusting. In terms of their planes, well, they have 20 SU-7 BMKs. <laughs> can you imagine if the AI bought those? <laughs> I think you can have a maximum of 9 aircraft, can't you? So fortunately, we won't see all 20 in at the same time. But still, that could get ugly. They do have SU-27SKs. These are pretty legit, actually. Um, so we're going to need something serious to counter their air force. Let's see what we got. So we have the Jigong Hoes. I don't think they're even in range. Neither are the Dragonflies. The Hornets could come in handy um, for killing some of the heavier tanks. But we got the Legion for that. So I'm not sure that Hornets are a good idea. Uh, we do, of course, have Tomcats, and maybe we could use those. How many initiative would it take to get there? Because I was thinking maybe I could refit to get four Tomcats. I think we'll just go with three. Okay. So hopefully the Tomcats will bring in, like, two three at once we won't bring them in one at a time because they'll probably get shot down but if we bring in an air force we'll bring in like three tomcats and hopefully they can keep, keep control of the skies for us basically now we've got 39 points left uh what could we spend that on so we could get the mechanized infantry regiment from all the way down south but i think that's a bit far gone now it might be time to finally bring in the brits or even 
the Americans for that matter. The Belau Wood. I was pretty sure that we got access to these. Yeah, so we could bring in these guys. I think that's probably a good idea. They're going to come in alongside the USS Enterprise and we can sort of head up and attack them at Vladivostok and so on. I think that would be ideal. So that's probably what we're going to spend the next of our points on. The <laughs> British Navy is going to have to wait. I know you guys have been laughing about the fact that I'm British and I'm just making the Brits wait to join this fight. But at this point in time, they are completely useless. Um, coming in a naval sector Echo is just not ideal since I don't need them to attack King Dao. And I mean, we've already taken San John, so what can you do? Sorry, Brits. Another day, maybe. Pyongyang, let's go in for this battle. I'm quite happy with just bringing in the Tomcats, I think. Because that would allow us to sort of maybe react to any forces or air force that they bring in as opposed to preemptively bringing out our tomcats although that's generally the better way to do it with tomcats because they can engage from a very long range but uh, that is gonna be a hell of a battle let's jump straight in they have 17,000 points worth of forces in this battle we have got to kill 4,000 of those in order to win we are starting at the Toussaint Tron sector. How are we going to do this? So, they're going to have things like T90s, Tron Mahos. We need Legion 90, of course. So, we have a few buildings here. I'm not sure if the range is good enough to shoot them as they come down this road. It might be, in which case, deploying plenty of Legion here would be a good idea. So, we're going to do that. I might also place some here. Maybe we can sort of fast move up to here and capture one of these buildings. That will stop them from flanking from that direction. I'm also hoping that Legion in these buildings will be in range to attack this road. That would be pretty important. I'm going to keep the fob like here, I think. So out of line of sight of this road. It is in line of sight of this road, which kind of sucks. But then hopefully the Legion can shoot them if they come down there. Maybe we'll move it a little bit further back, or actually probably closer is better because of the way the train works. I don't know. It doesn't particularly matter. I'm going to bring in a couple of these VBLs. We'll just have a couple of them spaced out. And I think this P4 PC over here is actually in a pretty good spot. However, I think I'd rather have a VAB PC rather than a P4 PC, but so we'll do that. And we don't have any command infantry, which kind of sucks, especially for these town sectors that we can probably take, actually, with the Legion. Legion is extremely strong. Now they've got the FAMAS and they've got the Minimi, which is a CQC machine gun. Now someone mentioned that only three units can fire out of each complex at a time. It wasn't something I was ever aware of, but I will try it for this battle. We'll go for th four units of three VABs rather than three or four and therefore they can take up more buildings and maybe get off more of their Eryx missiles. We're definitely going to need AA. There is a lot of air force that they could bring in. I think uh, Crotals would be a good shout but we've got to keep them out of the way at the start just in case of the rushes so I'm going to put them at the back because these are basically our best units and Actually, maybe we just have the fob further back. I'm not sure. We could kind of have it here, and then maybe I could put like one logistic truck either side, like so. I'm not sure what the range is on those, but that could be a cheap way to do it. So that this logistics truck reloads the Legion, and this one reloads the Crotals. I think some VDAA might be a good shout. Just for sort of helping stun aircraft as they fly overhead. And then we're going to need some Mistrals to finish them off, I think. I'm also tempted to put some forces up on this top side. I think we maybe put a couple Legion up here, just in case they send any units around 
from here because their spawn comes in there. So it makes sense for them to sort of fast move around the top side, which could be kind of awkward. Last of our points, I think we just go like one more VDAA and maybe another bit Mistral. Let's try that. Okay. This is going to be scary, but we're going to launch. We're going to unload these guys and we're going to have the VABs just drive away. Ooh. Hello, T90. <laughs> So they did start with a T90, which is quite something. Uh, yeah, let's just have the VABs drive up onto this hill then. Because <laughs> I don't want them in line of sight. Unnecessarily. What are they firing at? Okay, they just killed off one of the VABs there. Oh, Legion firing away. Oh, baby, that's a kill. I like that. Oh, hello, VDA. Oh, the T90 goes down. One shot in the side armor. Fantastic. Oh, this is brilliant. They are doing so damn well. That is just nuts. Oh, hello F5s. You're going to get shot down. Okay. Well, that's that then, apparently. John Maho. Can we find line of sight onto that, please? I really need to find line of sight onto that. we go. Because that was shooting my fob and I can't lose my fob. Ooh, VBL is going to be hit by a HGM from here if I'm not too careful. Fortunately getting out of line of sight there, which is good. Okay, not so bad. Right, that was a pretty successful start, I think. These VABs can just stay on that hill for now. So what are we missing? I'm not entirely sure. Is this not in range to refuel from the fob? Not sure, but uh, looks like those Legion were found. Try and pick them back up and we'll try and get them into Yankee maybe. Because capturing that would be really nice. We could go around and capture all of these. Get ourselves some really good income and then push towards um, this sector. Maybe even get some VAB up in, on here. Let's send a VAB over here. Because I kind of want to see if there is anything up there. Because if there's not, we could definitely put some Legion in the way of anything that's pushing from this sector. Alright, so that's working. Um, what about here? This crow tail needs to be reloaded. Maybe we could start saving up for some Tomcats and bait out some of their aircraft. Oh, they're coming back with some more here. What is that? It looks like something big. Something like a T90 maybe. So uh, turn off the weapons. And what I'm going to do is maybe start pushing forwards these Legion. Okay, so they found it. Let's not have these VABs in line of sight. That's a bad idea. Oh, <laughs> that was a nice hit. It's the amount of rockets there, and they're so accurate as well. Right, so we're going to sort of come into here, and maybe unload on the right side here. I'm going to bring in even more to help capture these towns. Oh, there is some stuff coming around this top side. Interesting. I'm gonna unload the Legion, just because we're being hit by an HGM there. Okay, just as well I have some Legion on this top side. I might bring in a couple more. Wasn't entirely sure if that would happen, but it has. There's also some forces right next to these legion. Now, if we can get these into the building, that would be perfect. Come on guys, get in. Nice. 
I've got to be a little bit careful. I don't know how we're missing so much, but we are. Apparently. I know these guys. Okay. So yeah, there's just some Pachongsu and stuff coming around. Some Pachongsu coming over here. Alright, so. Pretty good so far. 2,088 points left to kill. Uh, they're bringing in those. Let's try and get these Legion up into these compounds. If we can. I think there is something there. That is just recon. Alright. The main issue is sort of running out of ammunition. So that's the biggest thing I'm worried about, which is why I need to get these Legion up. These guys, I kind of want to just keep moving them because there's nothing here. Very tempted to bring in a command. We could just bring in some Rima. Oh, what are all these BTRs doing? Let's unload these guys. Uh, we'll have them sort of walk up, I guess. And we're going to start to bring in a VAB PC for this area. We're going to split these guys. We're going to have them spread out a bit, just so that we sort of set up a perimeter. And that way we can defend the VAB PC a lot easier. So ideally I don't want those Legion using up all of their ammunition like that. But if they're going to spam in Pachongsu, what can we do? The ABPC is on its own, which should give us another plus three, which will be nice. And we could even spread out around at X-Ray and capture those. But I kind of want to get as close as I can down here. I might split a couple of these off. want to see how close I can get to these buildings because if I can get into those that makes things a lot easier. Or oh, definitely have to be careful about these these Igglers doing some damage there. Mm. We're kind of in a tough spot because the Pachongsu are revealing my location of these Legion. And that's not really what I want to do. Like I want to have these Chonmahos and the Igglers come close. Same with the Pachongsu actually so that we can kill them quicker. Those uh, igloos are just out of range, so maybe we can force something there. They come a little bit closer. Yeah, nice. So we just got to micro this. So they come towards us. And then when they do, we can pop back in. Although we are losing units slowly but surely. Might be worth having some AMX 10s on the other side of this mountain area. Okay, well we've dealt with most of the forces there now, which is good. Well, those guys came under fire. We've captured this one. Let's uh, put these guys. So that's fine. Nice. Okay, they shot at my crow tower. That's rather mean. Just clean up that those BTRs as well. So 
I'm going to bring in single units down here. And then that will allow me to bring in VABPC to the mid. We're going to do. Oh, another T90 goes down. Only 1,500 points left to go, actually. We're getting there. Can we sneak these guys into the next compound? I'm going to take it in turns with the Legion. Oh, multiple Chommars on the way. Multiple, yeah, loads of them. Oh, hello. That is what I call Command Infantry. And if that's their own command, only Command Infantry, then... Okay, that's not happening. Sure. I'll leave it be. I'll leave it be. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't piss off the AI boys. <laughs> Holy shit. Right, we're getting pretty low on uh, Eric's missiles here. Hopefully we have enough to kill all these tanks. I mean, it would help if we weren't all targeting the same thing, but maybe whatever. <laughs> Let's maybe send these guys back. We can maybe recover these. I feel like we could just walk them back. And they will sort of reload themselves and get reinforcements. Cool. So how do we kill this then? We could bring over like AA down here. Why is there forces coming in? Ah, oh, they must be coming in from the to Ongjin. Oh yeah, that's a good point actually. They do have that extra sector down there that they do have captured. So it's not really ideal to just kill that one, although it would be nice, but at this point it's just doing it for points. But they do have some cargoes on the way. Hopefully we can capture those. That would be nice. I'm also going to start bringing in Air Force now. And we're going to invest in quite a lot of AA. And I'm going to fly off my Tomcats over here, and hopefully they'll bring in some planes. Kind of what I'm counting on. And that will get us a lot more kills. We'll bring in some VLRA Mistrals. We have managed to get these Legion back, which is great. Now they can run back and do their thing. All right, let's go. Well, those guys are out of ammunition as well, aren't they? So we may as well have them do the same thing. Gonna buy in the last Tomcat here. All right, they're gonna bring in some Air Force. Please do. I know that's three Tomcats, but please do. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can bait it. No? <laughs> I mean, they, the amount of air force that they have, it surprises me. Let's maybe bait out the planes with the Legion here. I mean, Tomcats can fly around forever, so that's one fantastic thing about them. Um, let's bring in some Rima. Maybe get all of these VABT 20s as well. Oh, that's not good. Get back into cover, man. Because that there is their command. Oh no, that's Pachongsu. I've been done, boys. Oh, here we go. Here we go, boys. Yes, shoot down those MiGs and SUs. That is what it's about. Okay, Tomcats, you can actually engage that now. <laughs> I love the way they're taking so long. Please. <laughs> okay, cool.
Those are just more infantry, aren't they? Okay. Well, we should shot a couple of their units there. Let's just bring this guy down. Oh, there is a T90. Kill that, please. Oh, AA. Be back. We got it. We got the T90. Five minutes left to find 600 points. Oh, this isn't good. Uh, it might not be so bad. I don't know. So VABT20s versus BTRs at range. Uh, I don't know about that. This one needs to evac. I don't know why it's still there. We are kind of winning these engagements though. Uh, maybe have the VABs go help out as well. At the end of the day, we can lose quite a lot of forces and still get a total victory. So we can kind of try and exploit that maybe. Uh, we'll have the remote try and charge for those buildings. We should have some legion with us because legion is the only thing that can kill heavy units. Could also just bring in like a spam of AMX 10s at this point. Have the crow tiles move into range to reload. Okay, time to have these T20s go aggressive. Five hundred and thirty-four points to go. Three minutes. Let's have these guys go down to the Ongjin sector. Not sure what those were, but. Uh, Couple nice kills. Can we do it? Look at these legions go aggressive. Ooh, that's not nice. Ooh, another tank goes down there. More John Mars. That's a lot of John Mars. Wow. Okay. Another command. I feel like that's a command. It's five man squad. Yep, it's gone. Nice. Let's just push for it. I mean, why not? At this point, we're very close. 114 points. I think we can make it happen. We got these Rima pretty close. Another T90S there. Oh, this is going to be close. Oh, it's not that close, but it's intense. Come on, kill it for me. Ah, oh, we killed something else. We did it. We only gone and done it. We pushed the mouth of Pyongyang, and what a battle that was. Insane. Love it. Okay, cool. Where did they retreat to? They retreated to Daejeon. Oh my god. Did you see how many planes blew up then? <laughs> oh, it's just insane. We have Pyongyang. This is a terrible blow to the regime. From now on, everything will depend on the reactions of the Chinese and the Russians. Holding Qingdao and Chongjin uh, will be the best way to make them accept our conditions for the armistice. Okay, Chongjin, uh, where is that? Oh, up top right, wow, okay. Got some work to do, boys. <laughs> we can definitely cut this off, surely. I could maybe move in the RACM. I kind of feel a bit worried about doing that, but feels worth it. Maybe. <laughs> um. Hmm. 
We're going to have to work that out in the next episode, guys, because unfortunately, it has been my time. That was insane. Absolutely insane. <laughs> uh, okay. We could definitely kill these off one way or another. I, I think just moving the RACM into that sector would be a good idea. Actually, saying that, I don't know, maybe the attack helicopter squadron can do the job. But with the artillery there, I'm not sure if we'll be able to capture that ourselves and cause them to explode in big balls of flame. We'll have to wait and see, I think. And even if they go and attack Pyongyang again, it doesn't really matter that much because we have Legion 90 and they can smash those tanks. But yeah, that's all for now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.